Well, Senator Bob Menendez and his wife are facing new bribery charges in connection to allegedly aiding a foreign regime. According to this indictment, the Democratic senator from New Jersey was secretly receiving gold bars and thousands of dollars of cash in exchange for using his foreign affairs influence to benefit Egypt. During a search of the senator's home, authorities found more than $100,000 worth of gold bars and nearly half a million dollars in cash. This is the second indictment against the senator in eight years. Moderator of the Hill and Chief Washington Correspondent Blake Berman joins me now. Blake, thank you for being with us here on this. Uh, so his second indictment now, this is an ongoing investigation. Just talk to us about what happens now. Yeah, the, the first one, uh, there was a hung jury, by the way, and now this is a totally different case. You sort of uh, outlined it, uh, accusations of uh, giving sensitive information relating to Egypt, money, gold bars, a secret Mercedes. It's it's all the elements there, uh, Nicole. Now what has happened is that Bob Menendez, who is the head of the uh, Senate Foreign Relations Committee, is no longer sitting on the committee at top of that post. He is still a United States senator, just not running one of the most important committees. We, we know that because the Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer just put out a statement minutes ago in which he said that the senator is afforded due process, uh, just like anybody else would be at this point in time. But it is remarkable, Nicole, when you think about the allegations here from the Department of Justice against a sitting United States senator and what they are claiming, and this is certainly uh, a big headache for the senator uh, right now, and Democrats uh, here in Washington, especially in the United States Senate, because this is not something that they want back on their radar again. Yeah, certainly not something went back on their radar. And again, you know, I just feel like we can't say enough. The second indictment now for the senator. Uh, talk about how he is responding. He is saying prosecutors are out to get him. Basically saying they're out to get him. Uh, mm -hmm. That is a very good way of putting it, because this is the second time it's happened in a decade. He also pointed to being a Latino and, and thinking that had something to do with it. He didn't really get into, in his statement, a lot of the facts and the details and the rebuttal, but basically just to say that folks have been out for him for a while now and, you know, that, that he's pushed back on it and so forth. It was, it was, a, rather, um, it was a rather strange statement, quite honestly, Nicole. Uh, from the senator, but he is facing some very, very serious charges. He certainly is. And thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.